Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to find out can ChatGPT mod Warframe weapons? For this video we're going to be looking at the Glaive Prime. So I started off by telling ChatGPT you are an expert Warframe player and then I asked it what build I should use for the Glaive Prime. It told me to use Pressure Point, Prime Reach, Berserker, Organ Shatter, Condition Overload, Virulent, Scourge, Volcanic Edge, and Shock Trooper. Now this build would probably be fine for a normal weapon, except for Shock Trooper because that's an aura mod and I'm primarily just looking for melee mods for this video. However, the Glaive Prime is a weapon where you should be using heavy attacks, not just normal ones. So let's ask ChatGPT a better, more specific question and see if we can get a better answer. So ChatGPT, you're an expert Warframe player. What build should I use for a heavy attack Glaive Prime build? All right, this time it gave me a more heavy attack focus list of mods. However, I have a total of nine mods, including the stance and chat. GPT only listed five plus the two gladiator mods, which apparently I do not have gladiator vice. I did not realize that before this video. Rip. So let's just simplify and tell chat GPT to make a list of mods for a heavy attack Glaive Prime build. Okay, so that basically gave us the same list, but in a list format. Now let's tell it to only show melee weapon mods in the list. Okay, but we are still missing some of the mods we need for our mod slots. So let's ask ChatGPT to list mods to fill all nine mod slots. Now it's only putting five mods in the melee category. So let's tell ChatGPT we're only showing five of the nine melee mods. Show all nine. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now we actually have a list of nine mods. Prime pressure point for base damage, amalgam organ shatter for crit damage and faster heavy attack wind up speed, drifting contact for status chance and more combo duration, condition overload for more damage on targets with status conditions, berserker, uh, better known now as Berserker Fury for more attack speed after getting kills. More on that in a second. Gladiator Might for more crit damage. Gladiator Vice for more attacks. Gladiator Rush for more combo duration. And a flex slot. Now the fun fact, Berserker does not actually exist anymore because as part of update 30.5, Berserker was changed from Berserker to Berserker Fury. So we will be using that in this video. So now we have a list of mods, but none of these are stance mods. So let's ask ChatGPT which stance should I use? Well, it says we should use Final Harbinger. Final Harbinger is a sword and shield stance, not a glaive stance. So let's tell ChatGPT this mod is for sword and shields, not glaives. What glaive stance should I use? Okay, perfect. It says we should use Astral Twilight. So since I do not have Gladiator Vice and it said I should use whatever I want as a quality of life mod, I will use Volatile Quick Return in the flex slot for the extra 3 meters of blast radius. Now let's go test the build out and see what happens. I will be doing Saturn Steel Path Survival versus the Infested for this test. Alright, here we go. First chat GBT Glaive Prime build. You can see I'm seeing uh, 17,000, 18,000, 17,000 damage. Something like Zephyr, 7,500. Another 7,500. Um, 17,000. Looks like we're getting mostly less than 20,000 points of damage, which is fine, but you can see it's not killing them all in one hit. Sometimes it is, but not always. I think we can get ChatGPT to do better. Let's go back to the arsenal and see what we can do. Now, this was fine. I mean, we didn't die. And we actually killed some enemies. However, 
What happens if we're more specific with our question? Let's ask ChatGPT, what if I'm only using heavy attacks and not building up my combo? Building a combo could drastically change how much damage we're doing, but as a different play style, we will not be doing that for this video. Now ChatGPT is asking us to swap out Drifting Contact and Condition Overload for Killing Blow and Corrupt Charge. Killing Blow adds heavy attack damage and reduces the time it takes to charge up a heavy attack. And Corrupt Charge adds plus 30 initial combo, which will make us always have at least a 2x combo multiplier, basically doubling our damage. And it will also reduce our combo duration, but that does not matter for this build because we're not building combo. So, not bad. Now let's go test the build out and see what happens. Okay, so this time we're testing out the Glaive Prime with ChatGPT's build. But this time we've told it that we're only using heavy attacks. And as you can see, the damage is better. Now we're getting 22, there's a 49,000. So significantly better than it was before, more than double. Which again, is not bad. It's, it's doing better than, than I actually thought it would because uh, it's actually telling us to use heavy attack mods and it's prioritizing having that 2x combo. However, this is still not as good as the Glaive Prime should be. So now let's go back to the arsenal and I'll show you the build that I used personally with the Glaive Prime. So ChatGPT did fine. It wasn't earth shattering and if you use this you'd probably think the Glaive Prime is an okay weapon but nothing spectacular. However, this is the build I would use over what ChatGPT says. I would still use Astral Twilight as our stance, then I would use Sacrificial Steel for more crit damage, Sacrificial Pressure for more base damage, and together with Sacrificial Steel, it will make even more crit chance and more damage. Amalgam Organ Shatter for more crit damage and faster heavy attacks. Gladiator Might for more crit damage. Corrupt Charge for initial combo to make your combo multiplier always stay at 2x. Killing Blow for more heavy attack damage and faster heavy attacks. Follow Quick Return for bigger blast radius on your explosions. And a Prime Smite mod for whatever faction you're fighting. We'll be using prime smite infested for this so that we can double dip on the damage we're doing up front as well as each status tick now let's go test the build and see how it does all right now let's compare the build between what chat gpt says to do and what i personally use let's go see how this does all right let's suck them all in and throw it out. There we go. Oh, 217,000 immediately. And we're getting red crits. Like, uh... It all depends if we get that slash prog or not, it looks like. Uh, this weapon has a forced slash prog. If we get that slash, look at that. 191,000 damage, red crit. I have seen up to like one and a half million, sometimes even two million, if the conditions are right. And remember, this is still path. We're well over 100,000 with every hit, pretty much. 131, 191. There's a 60,000. There's another 191. We're consistently getting, and notice they are dying pretty much immediately. All right, let's go back and I have one more thing to show you guys. So as you can see, this is way better. Let's do one final thing. Let's go back to the arsenal and get my Wisp with Roar Helmuthed in to the fourth ability slot from Rhino. And this Wisp has well over 300% ability strength and let's see how much of a difference that makes. All right, so let's see what Wisp can do with Reynolds Roar with over 300% ability strength. How much better does that make the Glaive Prime? All right, let's get all set up. Wait on some energy. All 
All right, there we go. Let's cast Roar. Uh, let's see, 215, 98, 218, 168,000. There it is, 355,000. Way more damage. So in conclusion, can ChatGPT mod Warframe weapons? Well, yes it can, but you probably shouldn't. The weapon will get some kills, but the higher level content will make the weapon begin to struggle. Chat, Chat GPT is getting better every day, but at least for Warframe, it's not quite there. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the down there. Until next time.